Welcome to the Inbal 700 series Valve instructional video session. In this video, we are going to how to replace step by step. These are the basic tools to conduct the sleeve replacement. Mark the cages and housing to ensure identical assembly later. Open the central stud nut and remove it from the stud. Remove the cages and the stainless steel rings from both sides of the valve. Check the two cages and verify that there is no debris on the cages and no gasket left over on the cages. Insert the non-sharp flathead screwdriver between the sleeve and the sealing disc to allow the non-oil based soap to penetrate between the sleeve and the sealing disc, easing the way for removing the sealing disc. There are three options of removing the sealing disc. By press machine, place the valve housing with the sealing disc under the press machine and simply force the sealing disc out of the housing. By hammer, place the housing with the sealing disc on the table and simply force the disc out of the housing. Use the special mill-developed machine for removing and inserting the sealing discs. Place the valve on the machine and remove the disc. Remove the sleeve set by simply bending it inwards. Flip up the mesh rug sleeve and then pull out the entire sleeve set from the housing. Check that the housing is clean. Confirm the housing measurements. Now we start the assembly process. There are two variations of sleeve sets. The first variation has three separate sleeves. Check and verify the new three-piece sleeve is in good condition. Make sure the rubber band installed properly on the internal fixed sleeve. The new external thin sleeve should be assembled first on the housing by bending it inwards and inserting it into the housing. Make sure the sleeve shoulders are completely seated on the housing neck on both sides. Use a vacuum pump to force the new thin sleeve to the sides of the housing, creating a passage large enough for the other two sleeves to be assembled. Insert the bent mesh rug sleeve into the housing within the thin sleeve. We recommend that the machined line be in line with the housing port. Align the mesh rug sleeves symmetrically on both sides of the housing 
and bend it over the housing ends on both sides. Bend inwards the internal thick sleeve. Insert it inside the housing with the thin sleeve and mesh rug sleeve. Stretch the shoulders of the thick sleeve and place them, overlapping the housing neck, on top of the mesh rug and the thin sleeve on both sides. Remove the wrinkles on the mesh rug from the housing neck using the non-sharp flat screwdriver to pull it inwards and line all the wrinkles on the top ends of the housing under the internal thick sleeve shoulders on both sides. The other variation is to assemble a complete sleeve set. Bend the mesh rug end upwards over the internal thick sleeve shoulders. Bend the entire sleeve set inwards and insert it into the housing. Place the shoulders of the sleeve on the housing. First, the external thin sleeve on both sides. followed by the mesh rug sleeve, and then the internal thick sleeve. Spread plenty of non-oil-based soap on the internal side of the sleeve and on the sealing disc after you verify that the O-rings inside the sealing disc are not damaged. Inserting the sealing disc back into the housing. There are two options. Using press machine. Place one cage under the housing. Place the disc on top of the housing and press the sealing disc to the housing until it is stopped by the cage under the housing. Turn the housing and press the sealing disc again for symmetrical insertion. Option two is using the special mill developed machine. Install the housing on the machine and press the disc into the housing. After insertion of the sealing disc, verify that the sleeves are not pulled from the housing. Lift the mesh rug and verify the thin sleeve position in both sides. Lift the thick sleeve, remove the wrinkles on the mesh rug from the housing neck. With the plastic head hammer, stretch out the mesh rug on both sides and place the thick sleeve on the end of the housing above the two sleeves.
Pacífico. Cut the ends of the plastic rope on both sides. Clean the residual soap from the internal side of the sleeve and the disc. Place the stainless steel rings back according to the marks. Loosen the nut from the center bolt so it will reach to the other cage. Spread non-oil based lubrication grease to ease the way of the center shaft way into the sealing disc. Place the entire housing on the cage through the shaft lining up the marks. Pull the center shaft upwards and replace the second cage, lining it up with the marks. Place the washer and the nut and tighten a few turns beyond hand tight. Place the metal cone over the shaft and use the crowbar to force the edges of the sleeve shoulders over the housing ends and under the cage. Push the edges outwards all around the cages on both sides. Tighten the center bolt again and repeat the work with the crowbar and the metal cone so the sleeve is evenly placed all around the housing on both sides. The outside shoulder of the sleeve needs to be lined up with the outer cage edges. Tighten the center nut until the valve reaches the face-to-face -face dimensions all the way around. We recommend that the center nut be secured with special metal glue. Now the valve is ready to be reinstalled.